don't have it. I would actually just give it to you if you would leave me the fuck alone, but I don't know what it is. And whatever it is, it. Oh, is that it? Well, I have it now. What I like about the new Fatal Frame is so far, occasionally they psych you out and it's nothing grabs you, but occasionally they grab you when you do that slow reach. Oh my god. I mean, how long do we need. Okay. You know what? That scene probably would have had more relevance to me if I understood Japanese. I apologize. I will not talk shit on that. Because my own ignorance is what caused me to not make it make sense in my brain. I cannot talk. Why am I talking like this? So. Oh, God. Already? Hey, B. God. Do you blink ever? Is it just when I'm not looking? Can you could hit next, please. That hurts my heart. Please. <laughs> you savored that. Is this like cute kawaii horror? No, that's not the same thing. Absolutely not. It's like if a J, -dra J drama was horror. Right? How cool would that be? There's probably a J drama that I need to watch. Woo! Ah! I told you to go home, man. You are at your drink limit. You live within walking distance. You cannot use my pesa, dude. And if you come in my house, I have a baseball bat. By that, I mean I have a camera. So I hope you're not a real guy, because otherwise this shit won't work. Ugh. That's the kind of ghost. Oh, shit. That's the kind of ghost like that kimono box lady in Fatal Frame 2. Yeah, get to a certain health threshold and then they just go, like, berserk and come at you. All villainilly, you know? Man. Sometimes in this game, you really have to wander around. If you don't use a walkthrough, you have to wander around to find out where the hell you're going. It doesn't always hold your hand. You have to explore. And if you take too long, more ghosts pop up. So that's part of it. But sometimes it's like, truly and honestly, it's like, how the fuck would I know to go here? How the fuck would I know to do that? Is sometimes, like, the response that you have to <laughs> games like this. It's like, how the fuck would I know to do this? Jesus Christ. God bless walkthrough people, you know? Oh, if she's alive, she's possessed. I mean, she's very cute, and I'm rooting for you, bitch, but you're probably about to have a boss fight. Yeah, listen to that ambiance. I rebuke thee, Beatrice. See? Take a picture. Oh, gosh. Get the fuck out of here. I was talking about the grudge earlier, wasn't I? Oh, I was talking about the grudge earlier, wasn't I? objects around it, unless you count the doll master, and they- oh shit. Yeah, the doll master in Fatal Frame 2, and then- uh oh. Oh, that's it. The fucking moon, bitch. Moon's doing this shit to you. That's why they call the mask of the lunar eclipse. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh, now we're playing as Misaki. I knew some shit was happening there. Ooh, you are unsettling. I mean... You seem also seem weirdly into it. Yeah, see, I called it. Some weird stuff was happening with this young lady. It's Beatrice's fault. is happening is there another camera obscura from previous experience usually there's one to two camera obscuras and it kind of gets shuffled between characters <gasps> that's a different one camera obscura this is the camera I brought. This is the notebook that talks about the camera prototype. As proof of our research is entrusted to the descendants of the ASO family. So she's an ASO. This is the first successful copy of the camera obscura that I thought of as a strong example of my work. The first solid step towards conclusive evidence of the theory of my predecessor and I. It hasn't been attempted, but my theory that images of the dead may be sealed inside of the film is feasible. However, Shinto priests and shrine maidens are sensitive to spirits, and it has a strong effect on them. The prohibition of its use is expected. Are you wearing heels too? You wandered away, ma'am. She had a flashback too, and then you were gone. She's dead, by the way. You dragged her there. Oh boy. Hello, Missy. Beatrice, you fucked everything up. You were the last person in this room. Karizuki, month of purity. Madoko Tsukumori. Special notes. The patient is introverted, and it seems that another patient of her age is bullying her. Please keep an eye on her. Room 204, Ingetsu, Month of Shadow. Ayori Aiba. Yeah, Ayori Aiba. Special notes. Previous to the death of Ms. Ms. Hanuma, the patient was to be moved to Haibata Hospital proper. However, she confined herself in her room and refused to leave. We were required to ex exercise force in moving the patient, but be, be prepared in case of further infractions. Room 205, Ugetsu, Month of Rain, Yoriko Sonohara, Special Notes. As there is no reaction when she looks in the mirror, she is not yet budding. What? Budding? However, her emotions and actions are very unstable due to the deterioration, extremely unstable from a worsening of memory loss. Please monitor her carefully. Room 206, Shugetsu. Month of Focus. Kazuru Amaki. Special Notes. Terrible stealing habit. Does not heed warnings. Please make a report if you find anything. Reclaiming the stolen property will anger him unnecessarily, but if you ask him politely, he won't resist and will return the items. I wonder why. I don't understand that. I feel bad. Because how anxious must you be when you steal stuff? Like, there's probably a thrill, but then it's just like... Doesn't that make you nervous? I live in a constant state of nervousness, so it's just like, I don't get people who steal. I don't get the appeal in that. Because that would make me afraid all the time. Uh, let's see. Room 207. Rengetsu. Month of Orchids. Ayako. There's no surname. Strongly aggressive personality. Her cruel pranks of ten cause problems. 
and injuries for the staff, including she cut my hair with a knife. Please monitor each person carefully. Ooh, shit. Is that the bully? Oh, boy. The children keep playing pranks, opening and closing the door to the second floor ward. The door's release code is periodically changed, but it somehow keeps getting leaked. It seems that the password game, as they call it, is becoming popular with the children. In the game, the door's release code is written somewhere. A hint is given, and they make a game of searching for it. They were given a harsh scolding. And please note that the director has said to be more careful with the management office's door in the future. If the door is opened, I fear that the patients may wander away. To prevent an incident like that from happening again, again, if you see the code scribbled anywhere, please erase it. I gotta stop speculating because I don't know what the fuck is happening, to be honest. <laughs> uh, here we go again with the children. Please torture me for children. Ooh, Beatrice is still there. The corpse is still there. She's gotta bite you. Don't go near her. Oh. I fully expect that doll to bite you at some point. Misaki, it's a drawing of some shit. Ooh. For some reason, I find nothing more foreboding. Than the distant sound of a grandfather clock chiming. I don't know why the fuck that makes me. <laughs> oh god. I still ain't letting you in, Hav. <gasps> ah, it happened! Okay. So they do do that. Okay. Alrighty. That, that makes me happy, because I was just bitching about how certain slow motions were kind of empty and they served no purpose. Now, they fucking grab ya! Note to all employees, a new patient, Ayaka, will be admitted to room 207 of the Rugetsu Hall this weekend. Ayaka is being referred by Dr. Haibara. Therefore, ooh, shit. That sucks. Therefore, we want to exercise the utmost care to make her stay at our institution as pleasant as possible. Everybody, please try out, treat Ayako with the greatest consideration. Ugh. Get away from it. Something bad is in it. Dead baby in there! Probably not. I hope not. Oh, I hate that noise. I forgot about that noise. Ooh. That shit sends shivers up my spine. It's fantastic. Oh, they never miss with the noises on this. Ooh. Uh oh. So she died in the time that it took to get for you to get to that point. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. Ah. Gotcha! Excellent. That's a split-second thing with her, huh? Damn, that was good. Ooh. Is that something on the desk to pick up, yeah? No? Yeah. Maybe later. <laughs> That's it? She didn't give you anything? She's lame.
when that music ends, it is a true, honest sigh of relief coming from me. It's rough. Oh man, did she get stuck in her room? Female patient's notes. When you see this, I will no longer be in this world. When my mother gave birth to me, she died in order to let me live, to protect me. My father and my brother died in an accident to protect me. What kept me alive after their deaths is the memory I have of them and the terrible guilt I feel for still being alive. This illness is robbing me of even that. The family that only exists in my memory is being slowly killed off. I can't take it anymore. Living while slowly losing the memories of those people who were dearest to me, still the most frightening thing is losing the guilt I feel. I am not afraid of killing my family once again. I will leave this world with what little memories I have left, as long as I am still me. Doors locked, motherfucker. Uh, Damn. The noises in this game truly send shivers up my spine. I cannot. Ugh. <laughs> oh. oh, I scared myself. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Man, I sound like the female equivalent of the scientists at Black Mesa, I swear to God. Never fear, Gordon. She's debunked and completely harmless. Who the fuck are you? Oh, it's you. Oh, you got it. Cool. Okay. I don't trust none of this. None of it. So sketchy to me. Oh, we're back in here again. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so she's gone because she already took the camera. How long were you wandering around in a ghostly daze? That's my question. Is that her under a blanket in the corner? Or is that am I supposed to believe that's another kabuki puppet? Cause it ain't! Uh, uh -huh. Beatrice is still on the shelf. Oh god, it is, isn't it? It is. blanket in the corner. I did not imagine that. I know I did not. <laughs> Ooh. Is she sleeping on the top? It's probably real dusty up there. Bad for your allergies. Oh, shit. Yeah! Now I know that you can get grabbed. That freaks me out more. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's purse. I don't give a shit who you are. That's a person right there. There's a shrine on the ceiling. Is that the shrine? That's an altar. Right. I knew it. I knew it. She's under the goddamn blanket. Spying on you. Is that Morticia? That looks like Morticia. Are we supposed to walk up to the strange woman? She's just... Oh. Ah, it's an ad. So you don't pay attention to get the shit out of me. All right, fine. And offering rewrites so your ideas come. Get out of here. Good for you guys. Bye. On this island, there is a Kagata during the lunar eclipse. On the day of the lunar eclipse, the minds of the living lean towards death, and the souls of the dead come forth from the gate of the underworld. The moon symbolizes the soul on this island, and it is thought that the lunar eclipse eats away at the soul. In the literature I read, it mentioned a mask called the Mask of the Lunar Eclipse that was once used in the festival of this island. There is some very old fragmented literature about the black mask that caused the disaster, the day without suffering, long ago. The day without suffering should it seems like a statement that should be comforting but it is fucking not i tried asking the head of an influential island family about it but he wouldn't tell me anything and his facial expression was one of terrible fright 
on this island, touching that mask is considered serious taboo. Even though it's risky to offend the islanders, I want to see it with my own eyes, to examine it myself. Perhaps it is a powerful clue which will lead to the other world. Why do you want to get there so damn bad, sir? Like, truly and honestly, do you really want to get to the other world that badly? You're gonna get there eventually. Everybody dies, man. Mm. No one's picking at me, at least to a door. Ugh, that's just spokesman. I used to have a front door like that. I knew it. You little bitch, did you kill your friend? That's that, what's her name? Is her name Ayako? Glorified <laughs> Moon King. Oh shit. Hate this. Madoka's Diary. August 9th. Evening. It's bedtime, but if I can't sleep, I start to get scared. It's dark. I can't see my face in the window. When I see my face in the window, it looks strange. My eyes look strange. My nose looks strange. My mouth looks strange. My head feels strange. I want to get rid of Ayako, but if I do, I feel like I'll lose something. That's why. I hope I can sleep tonight. Ooh, shit. Whoa. Madoka, you were far more creepy than I anticipated. Letter to Madoka. Dear Madoka, how are you? Have you decided on a name for the canary I gave you? I'm sorry for leaving you alone all the time, but I'm always thinking about you. Take the crayons with you, okay? You like drawing pictures, so I'm sure it'll make you happy. The doctor would also like it. He says that drawing pictures will help you get better, so please draw. I think that it's very frightening that you are forgetting so many things. But Madoka, you are from the Sukumori family, so the moon will always protect you. That's why there is no need to worry. Do exactly as Dr. Haibara says and be a good girl for your mother. I'll come check up on you soon again soon. Wait, <laughs> I'll come check up on you again soon. Love your mother. <laughs> I can't even talk today. Measure. Oh, nice. Now we can see their health. Excellent. Very good. Very good. This is a nice room. Oh, that's a mirror. Don't like that one bit. Ah! Uh. was severely uncool. <laughs> oh, there she is. Fucking weird. That's what it was. Damn. God, what a little weirdo. Madoka. <gasps> but you're dead. Don't touch the titty! How dare you! That was a straight up, I'm gonna touch your chest. What the fuck was that? July 19th, today's report. It's about Ayako from room 207 again. Around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I heard Madoka crying and hurried over to her. Her pet canary had had its head cut off with scissors! Ayako stood there holding the bloodied scissors. It was obvious what she had done. She just kept laughing despite our scolding. It was as though she had no second thoughts about it. Her mischief is going too far, and it's not just the inability to distinguish right from wrong. Beginning with Madoka, I'm beginning to worry that the influence Ayako is having on the other children isn't good. Even with the director involved, I haven't been able to devise an effective treatment for her. Fuck Ayako. Fuck you. You're terrible. I already hate you. I hope I get to slap the shit out of you with my camera. <laughs> Honestly, fuck that little bitch. I don't care if she's a baby. I will fight her. She's a fictional baby. I slap the shit out of fictional babies. Lizzie, 2020. Oh, fuck off. What are you, the 
Oh my god. What are you conducting now? You conducting time for the train station, bitch? Train station and Madoka's booty hole! Sorry, that's not nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh! Calling for Ayako. Oh shit, if you don't know where that kid is, especially after cutting off the head of a bird. Like, how fucking terrible is that? But you would know after that point what she's capable of! Like that! What the fuck?! She's evil! This girl is absolute evil! Ooh! What the fuck? What the fuck? It's an actual serial killer! Holy shit! What did she do to the nurse? Ah! Oh, I'm gonna hate this little lady, ain't I? Oh, shit! Got me! Got me good! Dang! You are evil incarnate, you little shithead. Get her! How evil do you have to be to kill an innocent little thing like a bird? How evil? Take her out! Slap the fuck out of her. Oh, oh, oh. This, this, this little chick needed to be put down a while ago, I have to say. Like, if you couldn't tell from her decor choices that she was a fucking serial killer in the making, then that's on you. You're not very perceptive. Absolute papa, I send you to hell. Yeah, she has blood on her dress. Oh man, it's you. Evil, that's who. You're fucking evil. So were you the only friend that Ayako had? And that's why she treated Madoka like shit? Because you were friends? So she's really possessive? <coughs> There's a lot of lesbians in these games and I appreciate it, you know what I mean? They're always such sad lesbians. And I don't mean in quality, I just mean sad stuff happens to them. They're great characters, but I just feel bad. Okasa! Who the fuck is that? Oh, okay. <gasps> Who the hell are you? You're probably an investigator or something. A man who will not say much, given the history of this game. You are very handsome, though. Good for you. Good for you, sir. Oh, shit. All right. How'd you get here, bitch? <laughs> oh, shit. Adjust in my chair because I'm an old lady and can't sit in the chair anymore. Oh, shit. Who the fuck are you? Hibata. So, Dr. Hibata. So he is an antagonist. Is that the one that I heard on the radio? 
Am I mistook in that respect or not? Missing girls found safely. Late last night, five girls who went missing two weeks ago were found and taken into protective custody. The girls were identified as followed. Misaka Iso. <gasps> it's just straight up her last name. All right. Misaki Aso, age seven. Marie Shinomiya, age seven. Madoka Sukumori, they're all age seven. I'm not saying it again. Tumo Nanamura and Ruka Yomo, Yomotsuki. I'm sorry, that took a little bit more for me to do. <laughs> Yomotsuki. That's a beautiful name. This incident occurred on the same day as the Rugetsu Kagura dance in a series of mysterious incidents. The girls' disappearances had attracted some attention. They were placed in protective custody yesterday at around 11 p.m. in the Amokore Bay, St- Amokore Bay Police Station. Jesus Christ. Officer Chusuhiro Kirishima found the five girls on the premises on the premises of Haibata Hospital, and their identities were confirmed. The police are pursuing personnel at Haibata Hospital as material witnesses in the kidnapping of the group of girls. It's Chusahiro's shit. Oh, it's him. Chusahiro Kirishima. Oh, so you're one of the law enforcement people that they dealt with. Oh, excuse me. So you're personally invested. Back then. Kidnapped. In the basement of the hospital. Jesus Christ. Two have died. Oh man, I'm just burping and sniffling over this shit. I am so sorry. I feel like this guy is going to be more vocal than Ren and the Amakura person who was in Fatal Frame 3. 60. ハイバラが手配されてから2ヶ月が経った。以前行方は分かってない。明日行われる老月神楽はこの島出身の者にとって特別な意味を持つ祭りだという情報にかけてみる。ハイバラがこの島に渡ったという証言はまだ取れず、
on the evening of the Rugetsu Kagura dance, later found in the basement of Haibata Hospital, was extremely confused upon rescue. Understandable. <laughs> it seems like a lot of shit went down. Memory loss was present, though not severe. Took time for her to recover. She came to the island alone following a friend. Sayaka requested a search and later care for her daughter. Sayaka. Sayaka Minazuki, client requested that her daughter Ruka is found and protected. Her condition is stable, but it's unknown if it will change. I know her from the kidnapping case ten years ago. That request was the start of my search for Ruka, yet I'm still searching. The night of Rugetsu Kagura dance, five girls went missing. The Lunar Eclipse Hall had already been closed when the girls disappeared. Not the first to disappear on the night of the Kagura. The people on the island feared that they had not been kidnapped but were taken to the moon. The girls were later found underneath Hibata Hospital. And anon, an, ooh, okay, I misread that. An anonymous phone call began the investigation. I get why she took out the nurse then. Because they were literally fucking kidnapped. So... You know what, Ayako? I get it. Get it, bitch. Yu Haibata's father. Shigeto Haibata managed the only hospital. Specialized in treatment for Luna Sedata Syndrome. Specific to Rugetsu Island. Common symptoms. Memory loss. Nighttime walking. Dementia. And hallucinations. I appreciate the mullet. Is this supposed to take place in the 80s? Because I appreciate it either way. Did you just fear fart, sir? Is that what happened? Ooh, shit. What kind of flashlight is that? It's bloomed. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Now it clicks. Without this context, this next thing will not make sense. Those of you out there who watch this will know of dead or alive and i'm not talking about dead or alive extreme that's not me hating on it i appreciate it visually thank you very much i'm talking about the actual fighting game dead or alive in it there is a purple haired ninja named ayane she appears in fatal frame five she has this kind of flashlight and she has to sneak around and blast ghosts to get her friend. It is absolutely ridiculous and I love it. Now it makes sense because it's the same kind of flashlight as uh, this gentleman is using. I haven't memorized his name yet, I'm so sorry. Now it makes sense. And it also explains why the Jiggle physics, physics were added to the game because you can't have a dead or alive character without the Jiggle physics. It's like cookies without cream. Maybe she'll have magic or something instead of a camera or something, which technically was true. But then I was like, that ninja has purple hair. Oh, cool. All right. That's neat. I haven't seen that in this game. That per ninja's name is Ayane. That's a weird coincidence. She has a tie around her head. That's the same bitch. She's in a corset in heels running around in a haunted uh, mountainside. Absolutely wailing and flaying the shit out of ghosts with a flashlight. <laughs> sure, I buy it. I don't give a shit. Nice. <laughs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> notes on wandering regarding Luna Sedata syndrome patients. Please take notes on the nighttime wandering habit of patients. Contact me today to confirm the suspected are no interferences with her treatment processes. On the night of the full moon, close and bar the doors. I also request a strengthening of patrol around the wards. Thank you. Beach. Man, where's the ninja now? She'd be really fucking handy right now. Where's Ryu? He's in that universe too. Ryu Hayabusa? He could fuck some shit up. He existed in the 80s, didn't he? Ninja Gaiden? Am I thinking of the right guy? Jesus Christ. That's a lifting room. Is it a sending room, isn't it? Like the one in Regent's Park. 
Ooh. Oh, flashback. Ouch. Ooh, cavern! Holy shit! Of your shit. I pooed a little, just a little, just a smidge. You know, it's fine, it's fine. He, he just pops right into a squat. It's like sticks his booty right out. Ready to start. Oh, it's an ad! Oh, okay. Kachava is the world's healthiest all-in-one meal shake. That looks fucking delicious, actually. Anyway, get that money, man. I don't blame you. Have all the ads. I don't give a shit. I'll just skip them. I don't give a shit. <laughs> a lot of crying women in this, <laughs> as per usual. Yes, yes, I ordered demonic laughter. It hasn't been any in 15 minutes. I'm wondering what the holdup is, yes? My achievement studying cranial nerves were finally recognized, and I was appointed assistant to Dr. Haibara at Haibara Hospital on Rugetsu Island. Dr. Haibara is the leading researcher on Luna Sedata Syndrome, which is a memory loss condition particular to this island. As far as I can learn from the available materials, the Luna Sedata Syndrome is a mental disorder consisting of memory defects and other symptoms such as sleepwalking. But many things about it are still shrouded in mystery. Why is it limited only to this island? What causes it? These questions are still to be discovered. Dr. Haibara's approach to Luna Sedata Syndrome is unique, and many of his treatments are unprecedented. Among his original methods is music therapy that makes use of a so-called lunar melody, which I feel will cause a stir in the world of psychoanalysis. What's truly fascinating is how this research does not only lead to a method of treating mental illness, but also advances the theory that memories can influence the soul. To work under Dr. Haibara is surely a valuable experience that I never could have had on the mainland. Meaning, the authorities leave you alone so you could do fucked up shit, probably. What the fuck is on that x-ray thing? What is that picture? Name? Asagi Hizuki. Age 6. Room Haibara Hospital, 2nd floor. From the typical behavior of being frightened of mirrors and reported symptoms of memory impairment, she has been diagnosed as a case of Luna Sedata Syndrome. The degree of the condition is severe. Under the instructions of Director Haibara, there are plans to perform a surgical procedure next week. The surgery for Luna Sedata Syndrome has been performed twice on other severe patients, but no conclusion has been reached as to its effectiveness. As an early treatment method of the Luna Sedata Syndrome, the surgery will be performed regardless, and the details will be recorded in a report at a later date. Please ensure confidentiality of the above information for the sake of the patient and her family. Alright, that voice is dead now. No more. I don't wanna.